Welcome to the Nest Productions Black Panther Review. We're getting straight into it. We're not wasting any time. We are here to talk. I'm Ryan. I'm Sean. All right. Have a day. <laughs> Black <laughs> Panther rule. Bye. <laughs> it was good. See you later. Uh, yeah. So we uh, just got back from watching the movie. Went, we went to see it. We came back to record. And so we're just going to bust through it as quick as possible. As Try and be as spoiler free as we can. You know we have problems with that sometimes, so this is your one and only warning. There might be some spoiler talk. Sorry. Got some speculation. I'm still picking popcorn out of my beard. <laughs> I know, me. <laughs> Sucking the butter off my fingers. All right. Um, Start with statistics. Uh, first things first, I made it through the whole movie without having to leave to pee. That's a statistic. <laughs> uh, That's not like you. <laughs> yes, it's very out of character. It's so- uh Yes, Sean's got some numbers, some insane numbers, oh. about how much money this movie made in, like, its first week. Yeah, yeah. Over $70 million. And then... I can't even imagine that kind of money. <laughs> this that, that was opening weekend, and then the second weekend, usually there's a drop-off. Mm. 100, another $180 million. Yeah. And then we're coming up on the third weekend, and it does. it's not even projected that um, Red Sparrow and... Um, Death Wish, the Bruce Will- the new Bruce Willis movie. Yeah, not even gonna touch it. Yeah, yeah. Although by by the third Thursday, as we uh, learned, not not a lot of people in the theater on a Thursday night watching oh, Black Panther. I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, yes, it's it's blowing almost every other movie out of the water. It's probably one of the, I'd say at the at this point until uh, Infinity Wars, the most anticipated he- hero movie. Of the year. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Like, it's... It's catching up. Is it catched up or already passed Wonder Woman? Passed. Passed. Already passed. Passed Wonder Woman, yeah. And that one was raking it in. Oh, yeah. Uh, for... I've been... I, I the, the movie... Uh, the Them introducing him in Civil War and now this movie really makes me want to... Like, Sean's going to be getting some orders for books from me in the near future on some Black Panther. (laughs) I heard this last current run that that he was in was really good. Yeah. I've already got orders. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Spectacular. Right off the get-go, I I recommend anyone who's not racist, (laughs) if if you're not racist in the slightest, you'll probably enjoy the movie. If you're racist... You might not enjoy the movie. There I'm was sorry. A lot of that. Uh, but I mean, and of course, it, it's about an African tribe, basically the whole movie. So there is some talk of race relations, and how certain members think that, uh, you know, that Wakanda should be helping out more people, more countries, and especially black countries, other countries in Africa and whatnot, that are you know. That dealing with civil unrest and oppression. So uh, if that stuff doesn't make you uncomfortable, you're going to really enjoy this movie because it's a fantastic view. It really was from start to finish. Um, I have to say, I also really loved his new costume. Yeah. Uh, I definitely like it more than the the previous one, which was pretty badass as well. That's old tech. Old tech. <laughs> Reliable, but old. <laughs> um, what, what do you got to say on that? I have been a fan, not not a huge fan as opposed to some other ones, but mm-hmm. I have followed Black Panther along for quite a while. Mo- mostly like when he crosses over. Yeah. Like his first appearance was Fantastic yeah. Four number 52. Yeah, it was a Fantastic Four. Yeah. Uh, and same wasn't that like his second appearance was also a Fantastic Four? Well, yeah, they started with that. And then he went on. That was that was in nineteen sixty six, and then you go on, and he then he got his own, obviously his own run and everything. And I didn't really, I didn't really follow Black Panther until um, Chris Priest did him in the nineties. Yeah, that's when he introduced the uh, Dora Dora Milaje. I'm not familiar. The group of warrior women that surround oh, him. Oh, the, the, basically the Black Panther's country's version of the Valkyrie. Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was cool right off the bat. First of all, you see a Black Panther in the film circa 1992. Mm-hmm. 
which and then right off the bat you see them. Yeah. The, the warrior women. Which, I, it struck me because I started thinking, okay, go back to 92. So, out of all the Avengers, Captain America was obviously the first. Mm-hmm. Then you have Ant-Man and the Wasp. So yeah. They do that flashback with Michael Douglas and, and the mm-hmm. wife there. And then Black Panther. And mm-hmm. you can even go back because they... That's another... You know, right at the get-go, the first five minutes of the movie, even if you've never even heard of Black Panther, you're caught up. Yeah. They, the way they tell that story. The way Ryan Coolidge told that, did that movie was awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean... And not mention the fact that the layers. Oh yeah, that, that's what makes it. I think Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger. Oh, probably be hands down the best Marvel villain they've had. And that is not even a point of contention uh, across the internet. It's been agreed on by like many YouTube, uh, well-known YouTubers uh-huh. and bloggers and stuff. Really? Are saying he has gotten rid of the Marvel villain curse. I think, I mean, if you count the Netflix one, I mean, I like what they did with Wilson Fisk, uh-huh. the backstory there, and of course, Zemo in Civil War. Yeah. It's not just evil to be, I'm doing, the, not, he's not Ronan the Accuser from Guardians of the Galaxy or, uh, yeah. you know, Red Skull. or. And, you know, I I did not really know what to expect from, because I've, I've seen, you know, commercials and people talk online, I, and I knew Killmonger yeah. was the bad guy. I just didn't know how. And I didn't see that coming. I thought maybe he was like like some other Wakandan native that like mm-hmm. betrayed the tribe and got kicked out. <laughs> or Man, ran, Man. <laughs> or yeah, or ran or ran ran away uh, in fear of being incarcerated. Yeah. But that, that I did not see that Without coming. Spoil it like try to stay away from spoilers right now. That that movie would have never that whole story could never have been told if they would have just taken that little boy. Yeah. <laughs> the layers and layers and how they peeled back and showed a little bit more a little bit more mm-hmm. same way they did it with Zemo and, and in Civil yeah. War you know um, let's see I love the father-son moments oh yeah yeah that was that was a great let's say great villain um, it, it got me because you see at the beginning it's like a very father-son type theme mm-hmm. hard yeah um where he's like, and then they, they kind of brought it around at the end where he's like, oh, I was told fairy tales of Wakanda, blah, 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 and the sunset and everything. and mm-hmm. Finally gets to see it. At the end of the movie, not saying the end, but. <laughs> uh... oh. I have I, I do have some, some speculation. Huh? I think the MVP of the movie was Letitia Wright. Letitia Wright. Shuri, the little sister. Oh, yeah. He's, he's very James Bond. Oh, definitely. And that's his cue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. They they definitely bonded him up in this, and ah oh, man. It was well, they really kind of they they switched it over. They they took a lot from Marvel Knights mm-hmm. when when uh, Kevin Smith and Joe Casada and um who did I say Chris Priest and uh, when they took like they they wrote under the Marvel Knights banner. Mm-hmm. It was like Moon Knight, Punisher, uh, Black Bolt, Black Panther. Yeah, you know those guys. Um, they totally just took those because nobody was using them mm-hmm. and just tweaked them and, and changed them all around. And I like how they, they used a lot of that. Uh, they made it more of a James Bond. Kind of like what um, you were reading once upon a time, we talked about it before. Robin, Nightwing, Dick Gray, and then Grayson. Yeah, Grayson. Yeah. Yes, it was... Oh, man, it was so good. Uh, uh, for those of you who, like... There's so many directions they can go, especially with the upcoming Fox merger possible multiverse theories coming together where like now the x-men are part of the marvel it's possible they don't know if they're they haven't said they're doing that yet but it's possible or plausible at this point because the merger hasn't been uh, finalized yet so there they could barely with them getting a lot of these assets and characters back we could be leading to some illuminati action oh yeah because black panther is i think he's like the eighth Seventh or eighth smartest person in the world in the Marvel universe. He's part of the Illuminati. Yeah, reluctantly, but he is. Yeah, yeah um, they, they could totally do that. Namor is also on there. I'm crossing my fingers for Infinity Wars. Xavier, Tony Stark, Black Bolt. It's all like yeah. the leaders and the most intelligent beings. Uh, yeah. Yes, we're gonna let's. let's there you go. Good, good idea. We'll we'll stay, try to stay away from spoilers and do more speculation. Yes, that's well, that's what we're best at, really, and spoiling. I, they're, they're, well, yeah, <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, Michael B. Jordan, really good. Denai Guerrero was shown from Walking Dead. Yeah. She was the, the general of, of the, oh, she she was awesome. I barely, I could barely recognize her without the, like, dreads. <laughs> that's, that's her. Yeah. I, I, I love the little jab there with the, when she was wearing the. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> Um, but uh, all the the tech in that movie. If you guys have seen it, you'll know what we're talking about. If not, go see it. Mm-hmm. And we're, and uh, a lot of the weapons that the Wakandans were using were primitive advance, I'd like to call it. Spears that had uh, vibranium uh, and modifications. They, and they, they shot. Yeah. Like, like kind of like uh, Claw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And they brought uh, Ulysses... Eddie, Eddie Circus, name, right? yeah, Eddie Circus. Uh, they brought Claw back. Gollum from yeah, <laughs> and Snoke for you Star Wars fans. Um, but he looked like he was having fun though. He had no makeup, no motion capture. He wasn't all you know. Mm-hmm, looked like mm-hmm. he was having a good old time. Yeah, <laughs> he's like <laughs> on camera for real. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I actually kind of liked what the what they did with, did with Claw. Uh, they made him a lot more likable as a bad guy. Uh, I was. Yeah. And, it, like, he's very, like, from what little I know about him from comics, I haven't really read a lot of, about Black Panther. Uh-huh. Uh, but what from little, he was a very serious character uh, who stole from Wakanda, and he's had a couple of retcons here and there, but it's always involving him stealing from Wakanda, losing his hand, and coming back for revenge. Yeah. And in this, he didn't really even seem like he cared about revenge like he, like maybe he cared about it a little bit, like like money. two birds, one stone. <laughs> yeah, money. <laughs> but all he really wanted was you know a good payday. Yeah, it's like a I think. Bat- I think he was just trying to fund his new album. <laughs> yes, there's that, which should be out soon. <laughs> um, let's see what else can I speculate here on a now we're after that we're going into Infinity War. Mm-hmm. We've talked about it before about who you think would die. Oh, yeah. Like, there's going to be deaths. Oh, definitely, definitely. We're talking about this, that, and everything else. I don't see why, like, especially in the comics right now, Riri Williams. Mm-hmm. I don't see, if if Robert Downey Jr. goes, I don't see why Shuri couldn't be the new Iron oh, Man. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, as right? Soon, as, you, as soon as you said Riri, Will, Riri, Riri Williams, my brain just, like, click. <laughs> oh, that's... Especially the, the scene. There was a yeah. few scenes that just were very reminiscent. I'd like... I'm trying not to spoil. <laughs> like, she creates a new uh, secret she, identity she's as Riri. She's got the tech. Yeah. And she has suits. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. she... I mean, it's almost like the ending. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if... If now that... Uh, you know, spoiler alert... Uh, Wakanda doesn't stay secret forever. That's kind of happens in the comics. Well, you see too. it in the trailers. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm wondering if like maybe for like Infinity Wars, maybe she helps Tony with his new suit because he has kind of a nanotech suit in like the trailers for Infinity War. Yeah. yeah. And like she has that like uh, you know uh, vibranium weave that comes out of the the necklace that Black Panther wears. Hey, every, so. everything is good. But it can always be upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. Such a good movie. The uh, Let's see. We've talked about like all, Angela Bassett as the queen. Mm-hmm. Like I said, we were talking about this on the way home. She was almost cast as Storm in the original. I it was good to see her in the movie. Yeah. And she was uh, great. I, I, it came up because I was mentioning how uh, when they, it's obvious that when they started doing this movie, they had no idea about the Fox merger. So they did not... They gave him a love interest that isn't who he ends up marrying and making queen in the comics. In the comics, he ends up marrying and marrying Storm from the X Men, and she becomes queen of Wakanda. That's not the same one. Like Feige has got. I don't expect to see any of the Sony properties mm-hmm. now that they bought them up until at least five years down the road. Yeah, when they decide they need to officially reboot. Yeah. Martin Freeman was good too. Everett Ross, the oh, way yeah. back. Of course, you saw him in Civil he, he's War. He's good in everything he's in. <laughs> See, we saw that. Yeah. Um, what else has he been in? I know Hobbit, but yeah, he was. Uh, he plays Watson in Sherlock. That's right. That's what I was thinking. He of. really likes flipping the bird. Any behind the scenes pictures you see of him, he's flipping the bird. Yeah, yeah. 
Did, was there anything you didn't like? Uh, anything I did not like. Um, did it end it? Being too spoiled. <laughs> <Did it end? laughs> Uh, I think the time in between the first and second uh, end credit oh, yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. I, I made it. I want to say you did make it. Without sounding too nitpicky, the only thing is T'Challa himself. Yeah. Think about it. He's got the warrior guards all around him. He's got a basically impenetrable suit. Mm-hmm. He, he's like he drinks the thing. He's the Black Panther. He's almost unstoppable. Mm-hmm. But as T'Challa, he doesn't. There, there was no drama. There was no like danger. I never felt. That. Yeah, like, it was. It was the characters around him that were. But he didn't. There was nothing that that he really wanted mm-hmm. or needed. Yeah, it was. He was just. He was like. He reminded me of a like everything. I love the action stuff and the. He was. He, he's like Indiana Jones, okay. except he's not afraid of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> he's just perfect. That's, that's the only thing. It was kind of like if he was more peril. Yeah. Like, like he didn't feel like he was ever truly at risk. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and even when he was, those scenes where he was weak, yeah, yeah you, you never really felt like, you, yeah, know, you didn't feel the tension. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I definitely agree I mean, with you on that. Cap's like, got the shield made of vibranium, but you can kill Cap. Yeah. This dude's got a whole suit. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> and, and the, the, the juice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, he's not juicy. He's <laughs> for your I mean, at technically, home. he was juicing. Yeah, I mean, they got to turn the the heart shaped herb into juice. I've got one fact that I I got an interview and I got a speculation. All right, all right. I watched or read an interview with Ryan Coogler, mm-hmm. who I thought was great. He did the Creed movie with Michael B. Jordan. Oh, right on. He's right doing on. Creed too. Unfortunately, Stallone wrote it, but <laughs> he's doing it. So Michael B. Jordan's kind of his guy. Yeah. He had said he wanted at least a cameo in the in Wakanda, Craven the Hunter. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> that would be that, and I was like, Ooh. that would be really cool. It was like when that Hydra agent mentioned uh, Stephen Strange in uh, Winter Soldier. Remember uh-huh. the hit of They're like, oh, he said Winter Soldier. Oh, he said Craven the Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, that's that'd be awesome, and like especially now, like. That's totally possible to get a Craven the Hunter. Yep. Yes, uh, it is. Switch in a, a Black Panther movie and then into a Spider Man movie. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. There was also, I heard going into this movie that everybody, like, this is it. Last one, the Soul Stone. Soul Stone. Soul Stone's on Wakanda. Did you know, remember? Didn't see no stone. I don't know. I have some speculation. Speculate away. T'Chaka. T'Chaka? Try not to be spoilery here. How would I put it? When you're becoming Black Panther and you go into the the Nether Plains, mm-hmm. which is in the comics too. Notice that eyeball? Yeah, I saw that. The glass eye. Yeah, I think that's where it is. And who better to be go there, or be tricked to go there than either Wong or Doctor Strange by Thanos? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting that, theory. That, that's a bit of a stretch for me, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Your Highness, I just need to borrow this. Yeah. That, I mean, if that's the only one he's missing, you know. Uh, what was it? And then the Iron Man ending. I was watching, when you watch that movie, mm-hmm. like the, the scene with, with Killmonger uh, rescuing Claw. Yeah. He's very, he's a cross between Stark and Cap mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. one. I mean, he'll just lunge out. He, the grenade scene, yeah. The shoot scene, I mean, the very cap. Oh, definitely. But at the end, minus the assholeish Tony Stark prick persona, who are you? Remember the first Iron Man? Who are you? Big press conference. Who are you? I'm Iron Man. And then the end of that, he just kind of chuckles and then just, they fade to black. Uh, a nice that that Chadwick Boseman fucking killer smile. <laughs> uh, that was the same for me, you know. Just yeah. you can tell the difference though. <laughs> 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 One's a narcissistic, narcissistic oh. asshole. The other is a king. <laughs> Both have shit tons of money. One has a, e- a king's ego. The other is a king. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like there's a, that's actually the huge difference between the two characters. One has basically become rich as hell and could buy his own country. 
and <laughs> he's very aware of his intelligence, his good looks, oh, yeah. and he's kind of cocky about it. The other one is a king and acts like a king. A royal at a royal pain in the ass. <laughs> there we go. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is all. This is the last stop before Infinity War mm-hmm. that we just saw there. Which, by the way, they moved up. Yes, you were. He was telling me about this on the way to the movie. I got more speculation. Comes out next month. They, it went from May fourth to April twenty seventh, and I I do have a couple again speculation. Um, number one, what it is is when they film like for instance we just saw this Black Panther they filmed in Korea yeah and they filmed in Australia mm-hmm. so all the European when they film mainly in European countries yeah they always get it a week or two before the United States uh-huh. it's. Yeah, Contract yeah. Uh, one of the YouTubers I watch, he lives in Brighton, England. Okay. And he saw it like weeks before it came out. That's, and I here. think what they're doing for this is I think Marvel's just like, here, hold my beer. We're going to set a global record all at once. <laughs> and they're just going to put it out all at once. Number two, I think, not that they really care, mm-hmm. spoilers. Because yeah. this is supposed to be so big. And the Russo brothers said that. There's going to be characters that we are going to see from Marvel that we have not seen in the MCU yet. Oh. And it, it, it's supposed to be a two-part Yes, thing. this is part one. Uh, I've already suggested that I think at the after this, uh, a dead Hawkeye, quote-unquote, is actually going to switch to becoming Ronin. Ronin. That's uh, one of the things I think might happen after this. Uh, he'll be you know, announced dead. This other character, Ronan, will come along because we. I see. I saw some uh, some some uh, pictures of him in a different costume on set. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's gonna die in the first part, quote unquote, uh-huh. die, uh, and then come as Ronan in the second part. Okay, okay. I also think because you also have two other movies that were coming out in May. Mm-hmm. Deadpool, the second one, or yeah. whatever they're. We're just Deadpool two, whatever they call Deadpool it. Deadpool two, Electric Boogaloo. So we. Can, so we give it time to, you know, not that Infinity Wars, are, it, it's going to matter. Because this movie is just going to, but give a little time before Deadpool and Cable show up, yeah. you know? So, and number three, Solo. So the Han Solo movies oh, yeah. coming out in May, which is also Disney. And they don't want to be in competition with themselves. <laughs> you know what makes I mean? Sense. So it's, yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, especially with the growing popularity of comics and the fact that, you know, most people that went and saw Star Wars as a kid are dying. Ooh, man. <laughs> that, was a, that was a joke at Sean's expense. Could, get it? You're old. <laughs> I haven't heard that lately. <laughs> we haven't been hanging out as much. <laughs> we haven't been hanging out as much. No, I actually, I might actually, I, even me, might go see the solo film. I mean, Han yeah. Solo is my is the, in is the best part of Star Wars, in my opinion. Yeah. Maybe it's just my slight man crush on Harrison Ford. It's not Harrison Ford. This. It's not, but he's he's still Harrison Ford. That's my impression of a Hans, or a Harrison Ford interview these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is he has died in the two. Last movies he was in. I know, right? He was like, I'm Han Solo, stab. Uh, I'm Blade Runner 2099, stab. I'm really not dead. Look, I got an earring. No, he didn't die in that movie. I got an earring. <laughs> he didn't die in Blade Runner. Oh, I don't. I'm not a. I, was, I saw the first one. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> oh. But Black Panther, though, um, I, 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 without sp- talking about all of the major plot points i don't really know what else to say about it other (laughs) other than it was a fantastic movie and anyone that considers themselves themselves a fan of the marvel cinematic universe has to go see this and if you're like i don't think oh i don't know enough about the story another thing doesn't matter go see it another thing i just thought of too like they did that young thing with uh oh yeah in 92 in the 90s which they're coming out with a uh, Captain Marvel movie, which is supposed to be set in the 90s. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if they'll go back and maybe do some T'Chaka Black oh, Panther. Oh, that'd be interesting. Because in you already got the, you're supposed to have young Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson with two eyes, <laughs> <laughs> and and Brie Larson in the 
of mm-hmm. the suit. It's supposed to be set in the nineties. Hmm. What? How cool that? How cool was that, man? Just you've never seen anything like that before. Just of all places, Oakland. Yeah. Ghetto. Kids look it up. There's a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> I look up. I see a spider on the ceiling. <laughs> Kill it. Kill oh. it with fire. <laughs> I want superpowers. <laughs> he's actually, he's going to go into the kitchen, look your wife in the eyes and be like, don't kill me. No. And then Sean's going to have to throw it outside. No, no. You know, that's probably the same one. This is a, uh, I know he's back, right? <laughs> Damn it, Ryan, I'm, it's it's tough. Without I know. <laughs> I'm sorry to put these restraints on us, but, uh, I mean, I didn't go see the movie until today. My fourth time I saw it. <laughs> I have notes. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have zero notes. I uh, I just went to go see it today. I I don't go to movies alone normally. I don't like it. Where where are we at? Uh, about we're at twenty five, twenty six minutes. I got some comic related news. Um, it's kind of kind of related. Black Panther ish. Go for Avengers it. Avengers type thing. One of it's a question here. All right. It's like, uh, are you like, somebody asked, what do you think of the Thanos run? Have you read any of that yet? I have not. It's, well, it's kind of Avenger related, mm-hmm. leading into the movie. Thanos has got his own run right now. Yeah. This short, they're they're coming out with sixteen, a lot of time travel, mm-hmm. and he talks to himself, All sees right. himself in the future. Uh, a lot of big reveals too. A lot of deaths. Sees himself in the future. Let's see if let's see if I'm pronouncing this right. His real name, Dione. That's Thanos' real name. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. He told himself. I know, but apparently, he is the lord of everything. He's taken over the all worlds, the galaxy, to the point where he has a cosmic ghost rider at his side, and a Hulk, the Hulk, on a chain as a pet. Hmm. And it was just revealed in the last episode that that cosmic ghost rider was fodder that happened to survive when all the other heroes of note got, were destroyed. Mm-hmm. Frank Castle. Huh. <laughs> Frank Castle, the Punisher, is the cosmic ghost rider. Cool. And then the next one will be explained on that. Hmm. Uh, that's. <laughs> yeah, the Thanos run seems to be really good. Right on. Yeah, I mean you, they're and they've all they're doing little preludes. As far as with the time travel, yeah, it's also a pre like story leading into the movie. Mm-hmm. They're tying in stuff because like there's little. I saw little panels where Wong is still looking for all the stones. Yeah, but it's a, a flashback to him. Mm-hmm. But for us, it's like a little mini pre movie story. Oh, right on, right I know, on. The way they did that it was kind of cool. I thought. So yeah, we're gonna uh, wait till till next next one there for. Yeah, only a month away now. It is officially March. Yes, March. I had to count all the months off in my head. It's March 1st. March 1st, as of us recording. As of this recording, yeah. Uh, So, gosh, man, it's coming up real soon. Real soon. Uh, I'm just imagining them actually. All right, we're going to put it on. We're going to release the movie on April 1st. (laughs) Gotcha. (laughs) You sons of bitches. Well, that's, that's Easter. Also this year. Oh, yeah. I told we're going to bring the grandkids over, and I'm going to have them go look for eggs I I never hid. (laughs) April April (laughs) Fool's. Yeah, with that book, though, they also did a little flashback because in a separate story, Frank Castle has the War Machine suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was something that was referenced in the second Iron Man movie, if you remember right, that they paid off in in this one in the book now. Um, Frank Castle puts the P in Punisher because he never has to leave the suit except for certain things. And when he urinates, it does a hydration system and he can drink the water. It's the- <laughs> Which was referenced in, if you remember when Tony got drunk at his party, he's like, all right, I'm good. I just pee. <laughs> he's all, don't worry. I got a, I got a thing going on in here. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, they paid that off in the books too. Right on. Yeah. That's too funny. <laughs> the pee. Fucking bear grill in that Punisher suit. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can shoot blasters out of hands and feet. Drinks own piss. Yep. That's it. 
Yeah, so that, let's see. I got anything? I got nothing. Uh, I got nothing else at this time. There are, uh, yeah, there's not really much else we can talk about without giving away the whole movie and ruining the experience for anyone that hasn't seen it yet. Because, I mean, I know I, some of our listeners that I've talked to, they'll watch our podcast or show or episode or whatever, and be like, yeah, I haven't seen the movie yet. Well, then why'd you, why'd you watch? I don't know. I just, I, I, oh, we I, appreciate I, it. Yeah, I, 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 I support your support. Don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it was just like, so yeah, I'm trying to keep it as spoiler-free as possible. Yeah, this, this um, movie's or make it all If points. you've read any of the current, pun, uh, if you've read any of the current Black Panther, there are a lot of similarities to the current, the latest run of revolution and whatnot and he uh black panther has to really take a look and like think about how he wants to be king from this moment on like how he wants to rule and what direction he wants wakanda to go in Uh, okay this is in the books yeah Yeah, in the last run uh i I think it's black panther uh, the Nation Under Our Feet, or something, is the name of the run. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know that title. Uh, but yeah, uh, man, this is the downside to not having like written out notes. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to important episodes like this, I, I like to have something written down. Um, well, you just saw the movie. Yeah, I just saw the movie, and I, it was only one time. Sean's gone four. <laughs> And I'm a spoiler guy. So this this could be the, the quick, quick version, and then we'll come back and do a spoilery one. Yeah, like a full... This is the pre preview of the review, I guess. Yeah. Um, a pre-review? Yeah. Uh, so definitely... Uh, gosh, I really don't have much else to say on the topic. <laughs> I'm 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 drawing a blank here cuz it's really good and it's kind of hard to put into words without spoiling anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean some stuff happens and some people go down. Uh I did like the uh I mean Wakanda it was like for me like the first time you I saw like in Asgard on the screen. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I did like the whole painting over there. That was that was pretty cool. Or uh, the mascara. Mm-hmm. Very similar, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, I like how they take us to the which I never thought I again. I said I know I said this over and over again. I, I go back to being a little kid and just looking at this stuff. You never in a million years thought I thought I'd see it. <laughs> like if I if if you went into the past and told your little kid stuff, you're like, I'm going to make a Black Panther movie, and it's going to be one of the highest grossing movies that year. You're like, you mean the one about the black superhero? Yeah, yeah. Do you see what neighborhood I'm in? No <laughs> one's going to watch this. <laughs> little, little, little me would be like, look, like looking but, for an adult. But, but we still have segregated water fountains. Get it? Because right, you're, you're old. Because you're old. Settle down. <laughs> Little me would be like looking for a, a responsible adult going, why is this bearded fat weirdo talking to me? <laughs> you're, you, wear, you wear glasses. You can't be me. Yeah. Oh, you're going to wear glasses all right. <laughs> Stranger danger. Yeah. Oh. I'll never get neck tattoos. <laughs> you know what screams prison? Neck tattoos. <laughs> Don't do it, mister. Uh... Um, I really cannot wait to see what they have in store for the Black Panther as a series because they're definitely uh, Kevin Feige himself even said he this is the project that he's worked on that he is the most proud of. I'm I'm ready for number two. Yeah, <laughs> is it out yet? <laughs> we'll riot in the streets. We were, we were waiting around all through the for both in credit scenes. And I thought okay, it's over. Just start the second one. Just yeah. On a loop. <laughs> I already said that was my least favorite part of the movie. It was when it ended. When it ended, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, we do know Black Panther and the Wakandans are going to have a very major role in Infinity War. Seen the trailer. Uh, 
Would it be spoiler to talk about the uh, the second end credit scene? I think so, because I think that's what people do these days. When they go see a Marvel movie. Yeah. Like, that's one part, like, I feel like we're safe talking about. Because, I mean, there's a chance some people will have to go to the bathroom and leave. They go on the internet first and see how many end credits or what they are and then go see the movie. So, at the very, the very last end credit scene was of uh, a group of Wakandan kids in a in a hut mm-hmm. looking down at someone that was supposedly sleeping or resting and uh, then it, they walk out and there's Black Panther's sister Shuri Shiri and uh, she's like are you messing around with are you messing with him again are you playing tricks on him no 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 we're not and then out comes a very pale white man uh, who is missing a arm who is the Winter Soldier who is also known as Bucky Barnes. Well, you remember the end of Civil War? Yeah, the end of Civil War. <laughs> He's been rehabbing. He's in rehab yeah. on Wakanda. Because <laughs> they try to they get all that Hydra yeah, shit Yeah, they're out getting all that, that, that Hydra stuff out of his head. Did you notice uh, what the kids were calling him when he came out? White Wolf. White Wolf. That was that. I don't know how they're gonna do that. Again, speculation. That's good. Bring this up because I got another speculation. There was a character in the Black Panther comics that was very. Um, he la- got on Wakanda by accident. Mm-hmm. It was a white man, and he ended up being his second. Like how Denai Guerrero's character, mm-hmm. Okira, was the general. That was, yeah. and he was a very Machiavellian behind the scenes polit- politics, th- but good. Mm-hmm. So he'd weed out any of the bad of the five tribes. Yeah, when they'd all have meetings and stuff like that, and they called they, they, that was White Wolf. They called him White Wolf. So I don't know if they're going to again going back, going to Infinity War. It depends on who dies or who's what. Are they going to tweak it for the movies and make him maybe White Wolf because and just make what's his name Falcon the Cap as. Maybe Chris Evans is going to stick around. Maybe. <laughs> well, we, Chris Evans, he's probably out. I mean, at this point, he's ready to quit being. He's ready to hang up the shield, pass yeah. it on. Uh, to Bucky, or do we skip and make him the White Wolf? And that—that's. I just started thinking about. I started speculating. Well, I do know that in the comics, uh, Martin Freeman's character, Everett Ross, Everett Ross, is Black Panther's handler for the UN. Yeah. Yeah. So. Maybe he'll be like actually the guy that like sits over all the clan meeting because he's you know he's the median between Black Panther and the government. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You said clan meeting and handle tribe meeting, <laughs> whatever. What about liaison? Li- <laughs> <laughs> you know the French had slaves too, brother. Liaison. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, I know what you. I know what you mean. Yeah, that. But who that. knows? I mean, I'd like to see Bucky as Cap. Like, but who knows? They're probably going to retcon all of this in a few years when they do a reboot. I, yeah. So who knows what's going to happen? Spe- uh, speculating is half the fun for me. <laughs> so maybe they'll make him White Wolf, but I sure would like to see him with the shield. Yeah, yeah. White, well, that was kind of a deep cut. I don't know how, how they go. I mean, I know, then again. You're probably one of like five people on the earth that rec- <laughs> recognize that reference. <laughs> I did, and actually. three of those five people are dead. I did actually. <laughs> they heard it and had heart attacks. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's interesting. See, that's what I'm saying. You were talking about like nation under our feet and so I'm like, I haven't read Black Panther and so on, but I'm like, Ooh, White Wolf, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Hey, what are you still doing here? Go watch the movie. <laughs> the podcast's over. Go. Get out of here. Wakanda forever. <laughs> uh, so, you know, start placing some orders. Uh, I've, I haven't, I'm have i going to probably get this one myself. Nation Under nation under Our Feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard it's really great. A really great arc. Really, like, deep cuts into, like, you know, political and revolutionaries and stuff like that. Like, the people are like... Uh, in the comic, the people are fighting so that there's no longer a, uh, what do you call it, an aristocracy where there's a king? Yes, yes. They're, instead of having an aristocracy, they want democracy. 
Okay. Okay. That's what Nation Under Our Feet kind of talks about, and like, uh, so yeah, I definitely um I recommend you guys check it out, and I'm gonna probably check it out at some point myself. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and if you read that and watch the movie, you know there's some similarities that involves you know trying to take o- overthrow a king, maybe or maybe not. And I'm not spoiling anything yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> so. Uh, Sorry, Logan. I know you were really looking forward to us talking about this, but uh, oh, he's seen it. But we're teases. <laughs> yeah. We're teases, and we like to tease. So I'm, you, I'm, I'm you guys it. are gonna have to wait a little bit longer. I'll put out. I'll put some actual work into some actual notes. Nah, I won't do that. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we'll like be able to actually like really, you know, put some pen to paper or get some notes down. Uh, talk between each other, you know, shoot back ideas between each other and stuff, uh, and work out a full actual review where we can actually articulate words with our mouth holes <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, yeah, instead of just being like, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was all right. <laughs> Best movie I've seen this year. Uh, only movie I've seen this year. Is it really? <laughs> In theaters, I think. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, me too, I think. Uh, no, I saw... Oh, that was December. Yeah, Star Wars. Nerd. Settle down. <laughs> I'm adding your book to the orders. Oh, cool. Sweet. Um, oh, gosh darn. I think that's about all we got. Yep, that is all I got. Um. So, yeah, look forward to a future episode where we give a more in-depth review and actually talk about some of these plot points that we have been dancing around this episode. Uh, I'm still working on a some notes from this video game I've been playing so that we have an episode coming up about that one. Uh, the game is Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've been uh, I've been taking the R- RPG-ness uh, of the game very seriously and have been taking uh, some notes on my... I've, I've been calling them my memoirs to knighthood. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I've been messaging my cousin every, like, couple of days with, like, I came across a wayfaring knight. He challenged me to a duel. And uh, stuff like, you know, how basically you start out the game not much stronger than a newborn baby. And as you train through hard work and determination, you actually gain skill. So. Hope you paid attention, folks. He called me a nerd. (laughs) Dork. (laughs) Uh, so hopefully that should be entertaining. Uh, we have a special video that we're working on for you guys. <laughs> a special oh, yeah. short. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, so there's always more to come. We're always working on something. Um, I have another game I've been playing that I know a lot of the nerds that listen to this will like. It is a slightly rpg type computer game based around a it's and the combat style is based on cards it's a card rpg where you get like five cards to ha- in your hand per turn and you only have so much energy that you can play in an attack or a defense or a skill or a power are you here to play magic no nope. <laughs> a, a little game called slay the spire uh, that I'm, I've been playing and I might talk about on a future episode. Hmm. Figure some of the you, you, you fellow nerds out there would like like it. So yeah, uh, that's all we got today. I mean, we're right on the forty-five minute mark, pretty much. All right now, I'm getting ready to do spoilers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz. Uh, Do you have any words of wisdom for the people today, Sean? Wakanda forever. (laughs) Have a day.